Subconscious mind flashing a message. The subconscious will listen and absorb this message. Exactly. Pull your wallet out of your pants and pray, Bob, pray, Bob. The feminist dupes of the conspiracy charge that not enough members are women. Bob would agree to that. Indeed, he would say, there will never be enough women. But at least the ones we have are all women. And Bob, Bob is all man. The James Bond of Zen Masters. The most dashing religious leader of his time. <laughs> Yes, Bob Jobs is a sex god. But rather than forgiveness, he offers something far more powerful. An excuse, a divine, all-inclusive excuse, which allows the bearer to free himself from the grip of temptation by overindulging in it until it releases him. The true seeker must give himself up to temptation or he will never conquer it. The sad, weekly self-denial preached by the New Age movement is pure conspiracy pablum. The true son or daughter of Bob knows that our universe is no laid-back, home-chanting cosmos, but an active, tumultuous, squirting universe bent on rampant reproduction and easy grins. The false cults may try to teach personal transformation, psychic development human potential, but Bob goes straight for the glands and seeks to amplify the self to bloat the abnormality potential of his pupils. Only through excess can one contact the lower self where the real decisions are made. Don't just eat a hamburger, eat the hell out of it. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> The advanced initiate, once freed from conspiracy programming as well as the worldly goods that enslaved him, makes his pilgrimage to Dobbstown, the church's fabulous walled encampment deep in the jungles of Malaysia. There, the initiate's third nostril is surgically opened by psychic surgeons, allowing him or her to whiff read the psychic stench of those around him. He masters the sciences of schizophreniatrics and memory editing, creating a clean slate on which Bob may write. The art of excrementation is taught, whereby the mind is voided upon the great throne of relief. What is it that truly sets Bob apart from other would-be holy men and self-appointed gurus? Everything. For Bob has always existed. There have always been Bobs. Every epoch of man's history has had its Bob. Most were what we would call good Bobs. Others? Well, we needn't dwell on that. The traveling salesman jokes of mythology are based on his early exploits. So many ask, is Bob God? The Slackmaster himself vehemently denies that he is the Messiah. His mission is merely to show us how to live with our sins. And who better? Bob admits he is a sinner. He practically embodies all the failings of mortal men. It is foolish to any one personal savior. The hectic pace of modern life demands disposable saviors, specific ones, suited to the moment at hand. A sort of while-you-wait, do-it-yourself religion from your own denomination or go forth into the world spreading the seed word. Even humans can be tricked into thinking they are some geniuses. As Bob once said to L. Ron Hubbard, they may be pink, 
but their money is green. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.